Hello everyone, Rishik Chakraborty here. I hope you all are crushing it. So the question that I'm going to be discussing today is talk by and sell. It's there on lead code, there in the description even. Go and read it once. So I'll just read it the question for you again. The question is as such: you'll be given a array which will contain the price of stocks over a certain period of time. Now what you have to do is. You have to generate profit from this given set of prices. How you have to do this? You will buy the stock on a certain day. Okay, there is a maybe. Maybe you will buy the stock on a certain day and then sell it on another day. And out of this continuous cycle of buying and selling, you have to find out which day, if you buy the stock and which day if you sell it, will the profit be maximum? And then you have to generate this profit via the function that you will write the function should return the maximum profit so for example if you buy the stock on the day when its price was 7 and then you sell it on the day when its price was 3 the thing becomes you will get a profit of 3 minus 7 which will be minus 4 now actually this is not a profit it's a loss you get a loss of 4 right okay Let's try something else. How about if you buy it when the price was 1 and then you sell it the day when the price was okay, wait, 5. How about this? You will generate a profit of 5 minus 1 which will be 4. Now if you are to find out the maximum condition right here, this should be if you have to sell it on buy it on 1 and then sell it on 6, it will be 6 minus 1 which is 5. This is the maximum profit that you can generate from this given set of numbers. Now you have to write the function which will provide this answer. Now if you face this question ever in an interview, you have to first give the interviewer the brute force solution and then we will, he will ask you to optimize it and then you can move on to the optimal solution for this question. Now if you see carefully. It's, it's a very easy problem if you're considering brute force. You just keep a run a loop i and then the loop i will run for the entire length of the array, right? Like what you have to do here is you have to take a loop i which will run to the entire length of the array and then one more variable which will just check the prices of everything that is on the right of i. Like you're starting i from here, you take another loop j, which will check prices for all of this and then store the difference somewhere. Like you will check 1 minus 7, which will be minus 6, 5 minus 1, I'm sorry, 5 minus 7, which will be minus 2 and so on and so forth. Then i will be shifted towards here. Then again, you have to run this loop j for the entire length of the remaining loop on the right. Means for everything, every point in this array you have to check the difference from all the remaining array elements which are on the right like you buy an array stock on this day you can sell it on these days right so it's just like that you run two loops with this and then you find out what is the maximum profit that you can generate but the catch with this type of solution will be this is a big of n square solution although this is a space complexity is bigger of 1 but the time complexity of this aforesaid solution is bigger of n square. Now the interviewer will definitely ask you to optimize this solution if possible and this you should come up with an optimal solution pretty quickly because this is an easy problem this is usually given up as a warm-up problem then he will move on to a better problem as such. Now I'll urge you pause the video go and try the question on lead code and then see if you can maybe print out a more optimal solution for you. So I hope you did pause the video. If you were able to do it, congratulations. If you were not, don't worry, we will go on and find it. Now, the thing about this question is there is a catch. Maybe you will generate a profit. Maybe you will generate a profit. There is no provision for loss. Like how you can say that maybe we'll generate a profit. Like you're given a, something like this. A stock whose price is continuously decreasing. There's no point in buying this stock only, right? If there is no profit, you won't buy the stock. So you will obviously store the profit in some variable. You can name it profit only. This will be zero, okay, something else. 
Now, the intuition behind this problem, the, intu the intuition behind this problem is such, always remember, stock selling and buying always stands on this principle. You buy the stock at the lowest possible price and then you sell it at the highest possible price. Right. So, at any point in the given array, at any point in the given array, let's say you're at 1, right? You have to check which is the lowest element on the left of 1. That is the point when you will buy the stock, right? That is the point when you will buy the stock. And then from on towards the right, you can check whatever is going on, how much profit you can generate, you can check via that. But always remember, whenever you're, whenever you're checking throughout this lens, you should have a tab on the lowest possible price, which is on the left. Like, suppose you're running a loop, which will go on like, you start at 7, right? What 7 has to be the first thing. Because there is nothing on before 7. Then you move on to, let's say the lowest price, LP is 7 right now. You have to keep a tab on the lowest possible price. Then you move on to 1. The lowest thing in the left of the mentioned array is obviously 7. There is only one element, right? And here the profit which, which you will generate is 1 minus 7, which is minus 6. Now already profit will be initialized as 0, so the profit won't be updated as such. Right. Then you move on to 5. What happens? You keep a tab on the lowest element on the left of 5. That is the day you bought the stock. So it is 1 in this case. 1 is the lowest element here. So this will LP will be changed to 1. Now the profit here will be, it's obviously you can see the LP minus whatever the current location you're standing at. So it will, no, I'm sorry, the current location you're standing at is minus LP. That is the base price for which you bought the stock. So it will be 5 minus 1, which is equal to 4. Then again, you move on to 3. Now what 3? What is the lowest element on the left of 3? It's again 1. There is no need to update it, right? Let me declutter this a little. It's again 1. So this is not updated, but you can check the profit once more. 3 minus 1, which will be equal to 2. There is no need to update profit. You already have a greater value. Then you move on to 6. Right. Again, the lowest possible value on the left. It's again 1. Then again, you check what will be the profit. 6 minus 1, which will be equal to 5. Then again, you do it for 4. Lowest possible value on left, of course, 1. How much profit is being generated? 3, 4 minus 1, 3. This question stands on a simple base. You have to check, whenever you are at a location, you have to check what is the lowest possible value which comes before it. That is the point you will buy the stock. Always you have to buy the stock on the day it has the lowest price and sell it on the day which has the highest price. Selling price should be highest. Now, since you have understood this algorithm, I urge you go and write the code on your own. Although I'll write the code, go and write the code, then you can check my code for reference. So go and go and write and best of luck for that. So I hope you were able to write the code, but then again, I will write the code so you can refer for it. And as we were, as we discussed in the algorithm, you have to first keep a tab on the minimum price, which will be LP. And then you have to find out the maximum profit which will be generated. So we will obviously designate a variable for this. Let's call it minimum price, minimum price. I shall rename it, probably save it to the highest possible value because this will be changed, right? And then you can calculate max profit, which will be zero. Because I said, if it's given in a way that the array is sorted in a reverse order, then profit will be zero, right? So we start the loop where it will be on zero, then I will go on to the entire length of prices. Then
here is where I keep a tab on the lowest price. How do I do this? It's simple. You just update minimum price. It will be the minimum of the given value and the value that we are comparing with. Then comes the second part of the given equation, which is the maximum profit. Now the maximum profit will be the maximum of the maximum profit. Because if it's a negative variable and it's zero, this does handle the edge case. And then the prices, the current price that is being discussed and the minimum price, right? One thing here you could have said, I said during the equation where like I have to consider everything that is on the left. You can consider the same variable being discussed also because if it's standing at the first position like here, if it's standing at the first position in the given array and you check from i minus 1, that won't work. That will give a exception. So like this will work. And this is to keep a tab on the maximum profit. Now I'll return maximum profit. I will try to run it. Let's hope it does. Okay, I just missed a semicolon right here. Things happen with me in coding. Always some problem or the other. Okay, it does seem to run. And uh, I hope this will this does work. So that's it. I hope you liked the video. Do keep on practicing questions on your own. I'll be covering up more content on the way and all the best. Thank you. It's my life.